Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today I have got a jam packed video for you guys. I'm going to be talking about something from Quincy Jones who is a software developer at XDC. There's an amazing video that I need to watch and I'm going to be talking about XDC and other CBDC information. So it's going to be a very good video for you to watch. So I hope you watch to the end guys. Starting off with this tweet from Mike Chen. XDC network sponsors DC United. Now why is that so big guys? Because it is giving us advertisement, marketing, the whole world, whoever watches football, are going to be asking that question. What is XDC? X is in my future patience as tweeted out. I'm not being humble when I get financial freedom from XRP XDC and when our tech is used worldwide and the foundation of our entire financial sector. I'm going on I told you so sprees to all the haters. Now guys, do you want to be the person who hears I told you so? Or are you going to say, oh you were lucky because XTC went up in price or XRP went up in price or any of the ISO coins? No, you don't want to hear that. XTC is 3 cents guys. Help yourself by getting in at this point because the bear market is the time where millionaires are made. And if you can buy XTC at 3 cents guys, not financial advice, but it's a good opportunity to get in, alright? Let's move on. A tweet from Darren Lewis Jr. XTC hybrid blockchain, no business data gets public, Zinfin. So they have a private layer and a public layer. So any private information for businesses such as invoices, letters of credit, guarantees, bonds, collections would not be made public and would remain private. X is in my future patience as tweeted out. A lot of things going on in crypto like DLT and MLETR and the tokenization of trade finance via XDC. The average person won't hear about it. All this stuff will impact the average person without them knowing. But finance knows and we know. It will be a silent massive transfer of wealth. They are moving us to the new financial system. And I believe XTC is one of them currencies that's going to be at the heart of the new financial system and it's going to play a huge role. Some people are not going to know it's playing a huge role in their lives because they're going to get on with their lives, they're going to move on to the new systems. But we know and you want to be the person who knows because XTC is going to change your life for the better guys. I just want to mention GBEX quickly because GBEX is another huge token. It's based on the XTC network and it's the only deflationary exchange token globally. It's still a good opportunity to get in guys because GBEX is very very early. You are very early if you invest in GBEX right now. It's worth a risk guys. It's not going to cost you a lot right now to get a few million GBEX and just relax and sit back and enjoy the rewards. Looking at a tweet from Darren Lewis Jr. XTC International Trade Center and International Chamber of Commerce have launched a 2022 small business champion competition. Now why do you think they've done that guys? Because like it clearly says here, they want to help small businesses transition to a sustainable economy. Come on guys, it's all about sustainability in the future. It's all about the green economy. And what does XTC do? It doesn't use no energy at all. It's just a minimal amount compared to these huge other giants like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Why do you think Ethereum is considered moving to proof of stake? Because the proof of stake is the future because energy consumption is a big one. And we want to use less energy because going down in the years coming up, energy is going to be a huge concern. So they want to be sustainable as much as possible. So XTC fits into that clearly, guys. XTC is the winner here. Moving on to a tweet from Dennis. The XTC token is highly interoperable and financing and connecting to legacy systems for tokenizing data, assets, capital management, payment and more. Forked by Quorum and Ethereum Go, XTC is built to handle all de derivatives transacted in the global trade and finance market now looking at this image guys xtc is the roots of this new system because it's got coda global id impel trades financial trade tech and trade phoenix and they're going to be using xtc to use xtc as a settlement coin and zinfin network guys is the chosen network all right you need to pay attention guys if you're not because xtc is going to be a huge player in the future financial markets okay before we continue guys we're talking about xtc and how huge xtc is i'm gonna ask you to watch a video from quincy jones he is a software developer at xtc boom i mint a billion dollars of whatever asset that i would otherwise have sitting in a drawer somewhere as a stock or bond or whatever 
put it on the FCC network. The second I did that, guess what? Nothing would happen. Whoa, 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 what, what do you mean nothing would happen? Well, that's because something you got to do something with that, ass, with that asset first. The asset sitting on the network not doing anything doesn't do anything. But now there are a billion dollars worth of tradable assets on the network. So let's say you had a billion dollars worth of those assets and you sold all of them. Well, that means somebody out there had to get a billion dollars worth of XDC and buy those assets. So what ends up happening is those assets trading on the network will contribute to the demand for XDC to buy those assets. So what ends up happening is, oh, so what ends up happening is, is when you mint the assets, it may not do anything. But as people trade the assets, it will essentially create more and more demand for XDC because you need XDC to buy the assets. And it works like that with XRP too. So if they want, if you want to mint oh, ten billion dollars on the XRP network and then sold it, well, guess what? Someone needed ten billion dollars of XRP to buy it, which means the amount of liquidity in XRP would need to increase to accommodate the liquidity demanded to uh, to buy those assets in the first place. And then as those assets get traded more and more, because you need the foundational coin to buy the asset and trade the asset, or at the very least, you need that and to have the maximum amount of liquidity. You could potentially have others assets that you can buy and sell on these networks, but the main native assets get to have the highest amount of liquidity uh, than any other asset on that network. So XCC will have the most liquidity on the XCC network. XRP will have the most liquidity on the XRP network. It doesn't matter if you print a trillion US dollars on there. In order for someone to buy one, they have to use XDC to buy the first one. And this is where a lot of this demand is going to come. So when they... They won't do anything, but as people buy them, the demand to buy those assets will increase the demand for the token as a whole. Meaning that, that's the thing. let's say I minted a billion dollars of assets onto the network, and then I just sold it. And then the next day, it sold again. And the next day, it sold again. That's a billion dollars of volume that's now onto the network because people are buying these assets that are worth something. <laughs> Quincy Jones guys said it nicely there. XTC is a settlement token. It's going to be used at the heart of the system. Doesn't matter what other coins, what other stable coins come on there, XTC is going to be the one that has to be used, all right? So don't get yourself worried about these new tokens coming on XTC or stable coins. We're going to be talking about that a bit later in this video, but don't get worried. XTC is here to stay. Moving on to another tweet from X's in my future patience. There's people out there that think of crypto and automatically think Bitcoin is what all crypto is about. No one you talk to would even know about XRP XLM, the average person. And hell, literally 0.0005% of people would know what XDC is. We are super duper early. Couldn't have said it better myself, guys. We are super duper early in XDC and other ISO coins. So it's a good opportunity to buy, guys. The bear market doesn't phase me. I've seen it so many times and it shouldn't phase you as well. Don't get worried about it. Don't start selling for losses keep holding and buying if you can afford to guys not financial advice but it's an amazing opportunity to be buying right now okay moving on to the next one a tweet from the goat just in case you forgot xdc is the one guys xdc is the chosen one look at this chart i've shown this chart on my channel many times comparing it to bitcoin and ethereum it, bitcoin was the first generation it can't do many transactions the average fee is so high takes so long to you know complete that transaction energy is very high as well ethereum then came in second generation still not good enough but now xtc is a third generation and it's getting ready to place itself at the heart of everything guys ethereum and bitcoin might still be here but they won't remain at number one and two spots anymore or not for any longer guys because xtc is the chosen one why would you not choose xtc guys it's a no-brainer okay so you are in the right place at the right time moving on to a tweet from Andre Kosterman. We're going to be talking a bit about what Andre Kosterman said on the webinar with Uphold and the Trade Tech CEO. So let's have a look at this question first from Gary Cooper. Hello, Andre Kosterman. With this new trade finance coin, does that mean the end for XTC coin? It would be nice to hear some more information before I gigantic rug pull for XTC holders. Thanks. Okay, and Andre Kosterman says it nicely here. Remember, XTC Network by Zinfin Official is a layer one blockchain infrastructure, supporting various coins such as XSP, GBEX, etc., to deliver specific use cases, which means XTC remains critical. So, as he says here, guys, the main word for me here is critical. XTC remains critical. So, no, any new coins that are going to be coming on trying to help the XTC Zinfin ecosystem is not going to make XTC obsolete. XTC remains critical. He then goes on to say, exactly, and there will be many such real economy tokens funding trade assets in the same way as you have many funds to invest in various types of assets. The goal is to have them all running on XTC Zinfin official. 
So it's just a matter of time guys, everything's gonna be running on the Zinfin ecosystem. So XTC is gonna be pivotal in this transfer. Another thing that Andre Kosterman says, some tokens will extend liquidity to corporates directly and that exists already while other tokens will extend funding to banks and other types of originators. Risks and yields will become different and you will have ample choice. All on XTC as layer one blockchain, that's the goal. So XTC is gonna play a huge role with banks and the future of finance guys. So what else do you want? Come on, you got the guy who's got decades of experience, Andre Kasterman, telling you this. You gotta believe it guys because he has got the experience of dealing with many decades of Swift and in the last couple of decades guys they've had financial crises before so this is no different for him he's not new to this game so pay attention when he talks okay looking at a tweet from Exism of Future Patients so what did we gather from Andre Kasterman's webinar he said the new use case for XTC is so big the few months of delay will be worth it more will be revealed will trade tech CEO late July Regulation approvals need to happen. Also, a new token is coming for the XTC network connecting banks with retail. Clearly says it here, guys. It's going to connect banks with retail. Okay. You're going to have, in my opinion, in the future, you're going to have a private chain and a public chain where the public is going to have access to that and the private chain is going to be more for the banks and the sensitive information. And XTC is going to be playing a huge role in connecting all of this together, guys. Use case coming for XTC, which is going to be so huge. And it's going to be worth it. And it's going to be revealed in late July. So we're going to keep an eye on that for you. Moving on to another tweet from Andre Kasterman. Have a new uphold session will focus on trade finance as new investment class for institutional investors as per vision of TFDI and as enabled by Trade Tech and Zinfin Official. So we're going to keep an eye on that, guys. They're going to have a uphold session coming up where they're going to be talking about trade finance being the investment class for institutional investors. So that's huge, guys. I've been talking about institutional investors for um, quite a few months now. And I think institutional investors are going to play a huge role in creating that big demand and creating that push that we need to move crypto to where it needs to be. And right now we're in the bear market. I believe it's being put down purposely, guys, because the big boys, the institutions wants to get in, guys, and they're not going to pay top prices for it, are they? They want they want to buy low and, you know, hold it while it picks up and they know where this is going, guys. So just hold on tight and do not be selling anything right now. OK, moving on to some information about CBDCs, guys. A tweet from DJ Peter was Swift plans to enable cross border payments as it tests CBDC interoperability. It's gonna be all about Swift and ISO coming up this year, guys. And I believe regulations are on the horizon as well. Regulations are coming in hot. And I think everybody's doing CBDCs right now. The whole world is working on CBDCs. Moving on to another tweet from Digital Pound Foundation. More African central banks are exploring digital currencies, says IMF. Come on, guys. You've got the IMF telling you about CBDCs. You've got America now talking about a CBDC. And you've got European central banks and everyone's talking about CBDCs. So where do you think they are already? I believe CBDCs have been in the pipelines in the foundation for many years now. They have been using them for a while now. But the public is knowing now because now it's the right time. So everything's coming together, okay? And looking at this tweet from XTC News... Fed servers will be coming online in February 2023, which is only about eight months away, guys. Federal Reserve Chair Powell says rapid changes are taking place in the global monetary system that may affect the international role of the dollar. A U.S. central bank digital currency, CBDC, is being examined. So as you can see, guys, they are examining CBDCs right now. The future is looking bright because you are here and you are aware of XDC and other ISO coins. So pay attention, guys, okay? Before I go, guys, I'm going to leave you with this tweet from Exes in My Future Patients. It's crazy how the average person is able to buy a token that's the future foundation of our entire trade finance system and be early. Three cents is literally nothing for XTC. Same goes for XRP and XLM. And there's a few other coins of the ISO standard that I would be paying attention to and the coins that are currently on the XTC network. There's been nothing like this ever where we beat the elites to it then we become the elites that is the future goal guys we want to become elites we want to become rich so we can help you ourselves help people around us and i think you are very early yes clearly 
3 cents is nothing right now and you'll be kicking yourself if you don't buy any now. Not financial advice guys because 3 cents is very very low from the highs that XTC has already seen and where it's gonna be going guys. I think 3, 4, 5 digits is gonna be nothing for XTC because it solves real world problems. And right now the average person is able to buy these and who knows in the future the elite might say you know what you have to be a millionaire to buy these tokens so right now it's a good chance guys before anything happens before anything changes buy your coins guys put them off exchanges put them with private keys make sure you got your crypto safe all right so that is it guys for today i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did guys please hit that subscribe button and like this video so i can spread the news about xcc like fire as always on youtube and please share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place to be if they want to be ready for crypto, I hope you have a lovely day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.